Uh, my name is Nick Pinkine. I'm the Deputy Mission Operations Manager on the New Horizons program. We had telemetry from the spacecraft while it was on, on the ground at the cave, and we were continually um, checking to make sure that everything looked all right, that all systems were, were go for, for launch. FC and DS Evergreen. Copy that. Alice and I were sitting right there, right behind this uh, computer, and the director of the lab was sitting right next to us on the floor, uh, you know, legs crossed, and you know, it was a lot of excitement. Eleven. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition and liftoff of NASA's New Horizons spacecraft on a decade long voyage to visit the planet Pluto and then beyond. Plus 15 seconds. Everything continues to look good as the Atlas V vehicle climbs away from Florida's east coast. It's the start of a grand adventure and um, very nerve-wracking knowing that uh, the spacecraft is in our hands at that point. And once we launched, they handed over the keys, shook our hands and said she's yours to fly. We basically waited about an hour and that was probably you know, one of the most nervous points is hoping that the spacecraft survived that launch. Pretty big rocket it went off on it. Once we reached the time when we knew to expect it, um, I think everyone was sweating and it was pretty much silent. When we first got data and afterwards, it was, it was real exciting. We had a mission then. We saw the telemetry come in from the spacecraft, which meant that it survived launch and that we were ready to start our commissioning of the spacecraft. We had some champagne and uh, sparkling cider. And then at that point, you know, basically said, okay, everybody, you got to get out of the mock now because you know, we knew at that point that it was going to be a very labor intensive uh, activity for the next uh, many weeks. We had a really good launch injection from Earth, and that has actually allowed us to save a lot of propellant on board the spacecraft, which means more science for the scientists. It's been a flurry of activities this year. We spent the first 30 days commissioning the guidance, guidance and control system. Uh, right after that, we went right into commissioning all the scientific instruments. Uh, we've done numerous flight software loads to the command and data handling, guidance and control processors. Um, and we also found time to fit in a flyby of an asteroid, a JF-56. And then now we're preparing for the Jupiter campaign. My job is to make sure that my team has all the tools necessary to perform their job, which is taking care of the spacecraft mainly, and also to accomplish the science goals that the scientists give us. Hi, yeah, I'm Tim Morales. I'm a flight controller. Um, we're responsible for taking care of the health of the spacecraft. Uh, Juan Cifuentes, I'm the contingency analyst, and for Jupiter, I've been helping to organize and coordinate and track uh, how we're doing with our schedule. My name is Sarah Hamilton. I am the uh, mission planning lead for New Horizons, which means I make sure all the command sequences that execute on board the spacecraft get built, get tested, and get up complete. Hi, my name is Gabe Rogers, and my responsibilities are to make sure the spacecraft is pointing in the right direction. I also am responsible for TCM's trajectory correction maneuvers. My name is Cho Chang. I'm an analyst for the power and thermal subsystems. And basically, I'm responsible for the, uh, the, the power and thermal temperatures for the uh, spacecraft. Hello, my name is Helen Hart. I'm in mission planning for New Horizons. That means I build schedules and check command loads. Hi, my name is Omar Custodio, and on New Horizons, I basically fill in all the gaps and uh, act as a backup for all the other analysts. APL is uh, currently partnered with the uh, Southwest Research Institute in uh, Boulder, Colorado. That's the home of the principal well, investigator, the and they're really responsible very... for uh, managing the payload operations, the science instruments. And then uh, we're also teamed with the NASA Deep Space Network, uh, which uh, we utilize for communication with the spacecraft. Um, and the spacecraft was designed and built at APL and is currently operated at APL. 
before any command sequences are transmitted to the spacecraft, there are numerous meetings, reviews of those sequences, and simulations. And that's extremely important to ensure that the sequences work as expected. I guess the, the usual stuff. Next is normal or SPE generation 7.056 degree. The observation starts. Yeah, if, if any engineer or, or instrument lead ever, ever says a no-go, that even one. Uh, we always have to go back, figure out what the problem was that they're looking at. We'll troubleshoot it. If it requires us to rerun a simulation or many simulations, we'll do that. If it requires us to delete activities from the timeline, we'll do that. It's, with mission operations, it's always the health and safety of the spacecraft has to come first. GNC, nine. GNC, let's go. Uh, autonomy. Autonomy, is go.